Welcome back guys. So today's video we're going to be working on the charging handle and things like that in the mid section. So first let's turn off this canvas and I want to select this surface here and create a sketch. Now we're just going to right click press pull that profile and we're just going to pull it in to add more depth uh, to the inside spacing. And once we're satisfied leave it on cut press OK and we're going to reselect this surface now and create a sketch again. But this time we're going to press pull it outwards to somewhere about right here and let's change it from new from join to new body and let's hit OK. Now we're going to right click on that body layer and we're going to move it and we're going to move it down so we can add some spacing down there so there uh, so it, there's an illusion to be more space. And once they're satisfied with this what we'll now do is go to combine. We're going to combine the main body so let me deselect this. Press combine select the main body then the body we just created set to cut and as you can see we have that spacing in there so there looks to be more intricacy going on. So now we're going to select this surface once again and create a sketch and this time we'll use the two point rectangle from somewhere around here to about here and then we can uh, actually what I'll do is turn back on that canvas so I can actually see what I'm doing and let's adjust this line to bring it all the way to the end of this area on the reference once we're satisfied, we'll just um, right click, or we can actually just uh, press pull this actually. So let's select the profile, press pull, and we'll bring it to about here. We don't want to go beyond this little wall that we uh, created for ourselves. Now change it from cut to new body, and now let's hit F on the keyboard to enter fillet mode. And I want to select the top line here, the top edge, and the bottom edge, so we can now adjust the arrow to round this off and once we're satisfied with this we're gonna hit OK and I could just do this next part here but instead I'm gonna go to the body layer right click and I want to isolate this little cylindrical shape we created so once we isolate this we can select this flat surface here and create a sketch and let's use the offset tool here to select the border and we're gonna downscale this so what we're doing now is adding some thickness to this we're going to hit OK and let's just press pull this profile all the way through the other end and ensure the operation is uncut. Now we can unisolate uh, this, this tool or body. And what I like to do now is uh, I can toggle this off. And I'm going to create another sketch back inside this little section here. So let me select this surface and create a sketch. Now what I'll do is uh, use the the line tool and the arc tool to basically follow this reference because I'm going to be cutting this shape from that little cylinder we just created so I'm switching back and forth from the line tool to the arc following the reference and this is a lot to take in guys so just if you need to rewind this and I'm just following this reference so this should be good right around here and I'll switch back to the line tool and from this bottom corner I'll just go straight to the right and I could have easily split the body by the line but in this case you want to create a body from this so right click and then we'll just press pull and shift select to select the other profile so we can press pull this and we're going to press pull this out to about here change it from cut to new body and we can now toggle back on that cylindrical shape we did we made earlier now let's just select both of these pieces, right click and isolate these so we only see these two bodies. Now we can move this one to better position it so we can get that spacing where we want the cut to actually be. Once we're satisfied we'll go to combine and we'll combine the cylindrical shape with that weird body to get this shape. Now we can right click on the isolate. Now back in the front view. Let's just toggle off this little cylindrical piece now that we just created. So let's toggle that off. Let's select this surface here and create a sketch. And this is going to make sense when I'm done. So let's use the two point rectangle to uh, create this rectangular shape here like we see on the reference. And what I'll do is go to fill it, not offset, I want to fill it all of these corners to make them a lot less sharp. Here you are. <laughs> Couldn't find that for a second. 
and we'll just bring this in a bit. Once we're satisfied, we'll just right click it OK. And let's double click to select this whole entire profile. And I want to right click and go to move. And I want to offset this. So I want to bring this outwards because we're going to emboss this later. So once we're satisfied, let's finish sketch. And let's toggle back on that piece we created prior. Now we can go to create emboss, select our profile. Now select our, our uh, little cylinder shape there. We're just going to bring this out to about here. That looks good. Now we can actually start working on the handle. So I'll just uh, go to create sketch, select the surface, any surface doesn't really matter. And I use this two point rectangle here and just follow the reference. Told you guys, it's a method to my madness. <laughs> I promise. And let's just drag this out a bit further. Now we can left click hold to select the profile, shift, left click hold, shift, left click hold. Select all three of these profiles. Now we can press pull them. And we'll press pull this to create one body around here. So we'll change it from cut to new body. And let's right click on the body layer and go to move. And let's just bring this out a bit further as well. Let's bring it out a bit further around here. Let's hit okay. And we can, uh, what I like to do now is just enter fillet mode by pressing F. Let's select these edges here. Let's round these off. Looks good. Now let's uh, enter fillet mode once again and select both of these corners in the back. Now we'll select this top surface and let's create a sketch. Now we can use this uh, rectangle tool here to create a little rectangle shape on the inside. And we'll just press pull this. And I noticed it's a little bit offset, so we'll fix this here in a second. So let's bring it down to around here, change it from cut to new body. And what I'm gonna do now is left click hold to select that interface and then right click press pull. Now we can pull that. And let's also pull it on the top as well. And let's, uh, let's duplicate this. So let's go to the body, control C, control V, and we'll just move this down to mirror what's going on at the top, but only at the bottom as well. And now it's a good time to go to combine, select our main body, then select the two smaller rectangular pieces to cut out. So we have this shape now. So now what I want to do is right click on this body and isolate this by itself. And we have to uh, select this surface and create a sketch. Now I want to use the two point rectangle to create a smaller rectangular shape that's going to connect from this body to the cylindrical one that we created to create the entire charging handle. So we'll just adjust these lines till we see, uh, see fit. Then we'll just press pull this to somewhere about here. Change from join to new body, hit OK. Now we'll just um, unhide this. So I'll deselect this and toggle this off, right click, and then unisolate. Now we see the entire thing is one. We just need to combine these two, the charging handle with the cylindrical shape to create one. So select these two, change from cut to join. I said, okay, actually looks pretty good. We're making a lot of progress, guys. <laughs> We're almost done, so just bear with me, guys, I promise. So let's enter fillet mode and let's round off this top edge here so you don't cut your hands trying to load a battery or however you use this <laughs> weapon. And let's press fill it once again and we'll round off the bottom edge as well. Safety first. Now, this looks pretty good. So let's create a sketch on this flat surface here. Let's just right click press pull to get a little indent right here just to add a little bit of detail. So we're going to press pull this outwards. Ensure it's on join. Now we can enter fill it again and we can just fill it these two corners. 